How's everyone doing? Good. Hi, Sylvia. Robin. Hi, Robin. Rebecca. Maureen. Sandra. Hello. Hope everyone is doing good. Having a good Friday. Welcome. Hi, Kathy. Just waiting for a few more people to come in. How's everyone doing? Hi, Wilma. Tina. Hello. Anita. Hi. Welcome. Terry. Hello. Hi, Ina. Well, welcome. I am going to be doing a live today featuring uh, the stars too. Um, and we are going to have a little bit of fun playing with this one. Um, so let me switch the screen over to my table. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I got, we're going to be playing with uh, Joyous Ornament 2158 Stars 2. So it's got two sizes. We're going to go ahead and create a uh, couple of different variations with that star. I'm also going to be using Florals 29, uh, the Lace Florals, the Holly Greenery, the joyous ornament round and of course the joyous christmas paper um so let me get this out of the way real quick so for the first project we're going to be i'm going to go ahead and assemble a three-dimensional star So here, I already did a lot of prep just to be able to go ahead and hopefully complete all the projects uh, within the uh, time, the half hour. Uh, hi, Rebecca, Lori, hello, Dana. Yes, don't forget to like, comment, and share for a chance to win a $50 gift certificate to our uh, Elizabeth Craft Designs website. So don't forget to do that. So here I already um, heat embossed these stars and I actually, this one is fully uh, shaped already, heat embossed. Uh, I just used a um, cream colored cardstock, smooth cardstock. And this one I partially already heat embossed. Now for this one I'm using uh, Wow uh, Metallic, Wow Embossing Powder. And it's that metallic brass sparkle embossing glitter, WSRR2, I think it is. It's kind of hard to see with all that little sparkle on the on the on the background. So the first thing I usually do if I'm heat embossing these is after I uh, die cut it, I go ahead and do my folds. So these straight folds right here are your belly folds. So you're going to uh, follow the uh, lines there and then just kind of fold it this way, this way, and this way on all of those. And then the centers right here, I just do a slight pinch. I don't fold a lot. So I want to have that shaping done before I do the heat embossing. That way, once I do the heat embossing, it kind of keeps that shape better and it's easier to do the folds before your your uh, before you add your heat embossing to it so right now i already have all of them shaped so for the heat embossing actually what i'm going to do is i have this i have had this for the longest time stampendous uh clear embossing ink and it's a dabber uh, let me grab a little tray here for my glitter as well. So I'm just going to take this and just 
dab it and when I before I do the dabber I make sure that the little this section right here that I'm going to be where I'm going to be placing the glue to adhere it together is folded down I don't want any embossing powder on that so I'm just going to take the dabber ink my little uh, my area really well and then apply my heat and my embossing powder Okay, I'll move that out of the way. And hopefully this is not too noisy. And then I'm just going to heat emboss it. Okay. And I think that's good. Get this out of the way real quick. Hi, Anne. Hi, Deborah. Thanks for like, commenting, and sharing. Okay, so right here, you all your heat embossing is done, and it has all the shaping already, as you can see. You can do that and just give it a little bit more dimension. So now let's go ahead and do the gluing. I also did um, heat emboss the two little sections or the two little die cuts that are going to be the top to put our ribbon through and hang our ornament. Hello, Ellie, Marlene. Hello, welcome. Oh, good. You guys couldn't, you didn't hear the noise from the, uh, from the uh, heat tool. Excellent. I was worried that it was just going to be like nothing but <laughs> heat tool noise. Okay, so now for the assembly, each point of your star has this little tab right here. And this is what it's going to glue onto the other section so you have one tab on one side and then one tab on the other so i'm going to go ahead i usually try to do one point at a time so i'm going to put adhesive on that tab and adhesive on this tab and then join them join them together Okay. Hi, Saskia. Okay, just hold it a little bit so it kind of glues well. And then I usually just kind of pop it on the side so it doesn't end up flat. Or you can also use your tweezers and do that okay so once that's once done then i'll move to the next one again glue on both little folded flaps and this is where a lot of times these tweezers come in really handy again same process There we go. Next one. Trying to uh, read your comments as I've, as I'm sitting here gluing these. Hello, Yvonne. Oh, you're not late. We just begun. And you can always replay this later and rewatch the whole, uh, the whole recording. Astrid, hello. Okay. 
and depending on your glue this process might be faster or a little slower depending on how how fast it will dry and uh, let's see i'm going to move a little bit faster here on these ones And you can cut this of you know pretty much any kind of cardstock you have glitter cardstock basalt texture cardstock smooth cardstock uh, any color someone mentioned and i think it was on a create and craft show uh, about putting a little a little light in the center so making it i mean this could be a really pretty like summer little garland with the uh, stars like in a, a light uh, a different a light color a pink or a green or blue and then with little lights in the centers and florals uh, I have a list of projects I want to make with them and <laughs> I haven't found the time yet to sit down and actually do them Hello, Rosemary. Hi. Welcome, Petra. Okay, so there is the star as a 3D ornament fully assembled. Let me put these pieces. Together as well. I'm going to glue the tops together and then take these and put them. Now, usually this takes a little bit longer because I'm gluing the pieces on top of the um, heat and bust cardstock. And that usually takes a little bit longer to, to dry. So I'm just going to try to hold it there and then we can put and then of course uh, for this one I didn't make any extra extra florals or a decoration to go on top but let me show you something real quick you can use to decorate it so you can put your ribbon through and I, like, and I like to do two of them because then that way you have a finished look on front and back. And you can do, place, for example, a little floral arrangement like that. You can actually do one on this side and then one on the back side and you get that beautiful floral arrangement on both sides. So that's one of the options, or you can just use the star by itself like that. So very elegant, simple, pretty. Okay, so for the next one, I am going, we're going to do a variation of the star. It's going to have a little bit of dimension as well but it's going to be flat on it's going to go on a card so here i have a uh i think it's like a five uh five and a half five by six and a half uh card base uh pattern paper i made sure i had all the ornaments on the back some of the poinsettias and then this star i cut it from um the uh it's a glitter cardstock so i don't know if you can see it but it's all sparkly so it's, this is just glitter cardstock this is the smaller size so you can see here i have the large on the ornament and this is the small size of the of the set so we're going to go ahead and fold our little flap uh sections right here to glue it 
and this I usually end up doing this with my tweezers because they're a little small let me cover this glue before it dries and then I can't use it so go ahead and fold this Um, so best cardstock way to use for the full ornament. Um, so if I'm doing them for like an actual ornament to put it on the tree, I will probably go with, uh, like, a 80 pound or higher, uh, the sturdier, the better. Uh, so even, you know, like a hundred pound, uh, weight, uh, cardstock sometimes. You know, like I said, um, I would like to make it the sturdier, the better. Um, and if it's that heavy, depending on your on your die cutting machine, you might have to like run it through and then run it back again just to make sure all the tiny little pieces cut out. Cut out if if your uh, machine doesn't have a lot of pressure. Mine is fairly new, so it has a lot of pressure. One of the my older machines, I do will have to run it like on an eighty pound car stack. I usually just run it twice to make sure all the cuts come through nicely. Okay, so right here, I folded my straight lines right here, and then I'm just going to go and fold slightly along the tips. And you can use your tweezers here too to get a nicer fold right here. Hey, Sylvia. So here, let's see. And then I usually do the center too. So we got a nice point. And you already have all those little lines marked there from the die, so all you have to do is follow the lines to, to fold it. Okay, so now that we have that, um, so I think I wanna go ahead and place it about right here. I wanna be able to see all that in the background, the extra ornaments, the pine cones, uh, the design, the florals. So I'm going to go ahead and place it right here. And then of course I have this piece as well for the top, which might not really need it because it's going to get covered by a floral. So I created this one with the lace florals. I did three layers and then the um, little pine needle branch. So I cut it apart into little pieces. I cut it from the same glitter cardstock that I did, the star. And then I just kind of glue it together and added a some prills to coordinate the colors in the center of the flower, floral. Okay, so let's try to put down our star. So in this case, and it's going to be take a little bit just because it's a glitter cardstock. And it takes a bit of time to dry. So let's see if we can do this quickly. And this one only has the tab on one side, but that is plenty to get it glued on our card stack or on our on our card base. So what I usually do is I'll take one one tip, one point, press it down, and then make sure that the whole thing didn't glue down, that just the 
just a little fold. And I just kind of move along to the next. And I do push them in together a little bit so that I get the dimension. So it's not saying it doesn't, as you can see, I'm kind of pushing it in, in towards the center. I'm pushing the tip of the, of the, um, of the point of the star in towards the center. That way, when it glues down, it doesn't flatten. It doesn't end up completely flat on my project. Thank you, Miriam. Hi, Anya. Okay, this one is kind of, there we go. And it's easier to press it down with something smaller other than my fingertips so we don't have uh, the whole point of the star or the whole piece gluing down. Okay, and I'm going to take some ribbon here and put it through our little uh, top of the ornament. And then glue that on our top right here, which at the end, it's going to get covered from the florals, but Okay, so here we go. Now I have two pieces of ribbon. I'm going to wrap them to the back carefully without uh, pressing down on the star, putting some tape on the back, wrapping uh, my ribbon. Okay, so we have a ribbon wrapped to the back of our card. It's a little crooked. There we go, that's better. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and glue that to our base before we put our florals. Just put a lot of extra tape where that ribbon is so it doesn't come apart. Thank you, Maureen. Align it carefully without dropping the whole thing because then it's not going, to, I won't be able to reposition this. Okay. So you can see there, I was able to glue that completely to the card, but it I still has that dimension, it's not completely flat, which I love, especially if I'm hand delivering the Christmas card, uh, I go crazy with the dimension. It's when it, when it ha you have to ship them that, you know, you have to be more aware of uh, how much dimension you put on them just because the uh, postage is going to be a, a bit more. And now I'm going to take this piece and you can see all my different layers on the back and go ahead and glue it right there. Now I didn't take the time to do the florals ink on camera while the live I did them ahead of time just because I wanted to concentrate on the different ways you can use the uh, the star die. And this will take a little bit to glue because of the glitter. So uh, here you go. Very pretty, elegant. And then you can always like stamp uh, or put a little banner with Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Uh, somewhere on your card. So here's our project number two. 
make sure that stays down because it keeps lifting. Okay, and I'll put that aside for now. And then we get our third project. Oh, thank you, Paula, for liking, commenting, and sharing. Thank you, Miriam. Okay, so for this one, I uh, am using the smaller die as well. This one's our die cut out of um, gold, kind of a matte gold mirror card stack. It's not as uh, shiny as the usual mirror card stack but it's got a, 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 a nice matte finish on it. So what I did with this one, and I had already done it, I took a pair of scissors and I cut off that little flap that we used to glue it down for the dimensional ones. I cut them all off, and I'm going to use this one completely flat on the ornament. So here I'm using that round ornament I used the decorative uh, round circle, the circle out of uh, card, uh, pattern paper from the Joyous Christmas paper. And then, of course, I had my little top for the ornament. And this one, I was thinking about doing it more, uh, instead of doing it as an ornament, I wanted to do it like kind of a gift tag to put it on a Christmas or a uh, Christmas gift. So once you wrap it up and you can put it there and then you can write your little message or to and from on the back, or you can also make it as a Christmas ornament. So here I'm just going to go ahead and glue our paper. And you can see the florals on the back of this one. I'm just going to center it to my circle here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue my top. You can put some ribbon, some um, twine, you know, something to hang it or put it on your presents or hang it on the tree. And then for this stars, I want to go ahead and offset my points and layer them on top of each other. I think I need some, uh, let me see, foam dots here real quick. Uh, I want a little bit of dimension. I don't want them completely flat. So let me see. Couple of foam dots. And kind of center to my to my circle. There we go. I might have to come back to it later and add some extra adhesive on this one. Uh, and then I'm going to make sure I offset my points, centering it, centering them to the other layer. And you have something that looks like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this little floral arrangement. So I got the poinsettia. I did three layers. Um, I die cut everything out of the soft finish cardstock and then colored with distress inks. Um, so I got three layers of the poinsettias. I got the uh, holly leaves. And then I have the pine needles also uh, in there. I just, the pine needles, I always end up kind of uh, snipping apart to layer them uh, 
in a in another position. Um, the little centers of the poinsettia I cut out of the same uh, gold cardstock, and then I added a little bit of extra prills in the center. So I'm going to just go ahead and I think I'm just going to glue it right here. Hold it down for a little bit. And you have a pretty elegant, either an ornament, you can do this for a gift card, a, um, like a, put it on a gift uh, bag or a gift box. Um, so that is another way of using the stars too. Sorry, I hit the table and it's bouncing all over the place. Um, so stars too with three different version of ways of, uh, using them. So you got the dimensional one, two of them back to back to create an ornament or a little uh, banner with stars. You get one star on a card or a tag. You still have the dimension. And then you get the same star completely flat, two layers, and you get a different, slightly different look. Any questions? Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Anita. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Wow, 30 minutes went by super quick. <laughs> I am so glad I prepped a lot of this stuff ahead of time <laughs> to uh, make it work. There we go. Thank you. Hi, Karen, Dorothy. Thank you so much for joining in me today. Let me switch this over. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the makes. Um, if you didn't get a chance to see, watch the whole thing, uh, make sure to watch the replay. It'll be on the Facebook page, uh, Elizabeth Craft Designs Facebook page, uh, and as well as their YouTube channel. And then I'll add it to my uh, channels as well. Um, thank you for joining me today. Uh, hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. Uh, stay cool uh, because here in California, we are pretty warm right now. <laughs> uh, so uh, have a great weekend, everyone. And until next time, thank you. Bye.